Hello and welcome to a quick new tutorial on how to delete empty rows in Excel by the use of VBA. So consider this following example. Um, you work in a company and you now want to make some kind of calculation with the salary list um, that you get from an external program. So while converting um, the data from the external program into an uh, Excel format, so for example XLS, you got uh, suddenly these empty rows. And depending on how long or short the list is, you can just go in and delete them manually. But that's very cumbersome and you can just automate it, so why don't you do that? In order to do that, you need the developer tab. If you don't have it, at least on Mac, go to Excel, Preferences, Ribbon and Toolbar, and tick the developer tab. If you've done that, you should be able to click Visual Basics and an empty window like this should pop up. If it doesn't, go to Insert and click Module. So what we want to do is define our, uh, our program. So we say sub and give it a name. So delete rows, delete, delete rows. Um, and sub is defining the end of our program. Then um, to begin with, we want to write on error Resume next. You will see in a minute why this um, why this makes sense, and then we want to define um, the short little script. So in this case, we want to delete a row if any cell in our working range um, in the column of A is empty. So for example, we don't want to delete A3, but we want to delete A4. So we use the column A but we don't hard code the end of our working range. We want to use um, this program also if the lists are longer or shorter, so we don't want to be we want to be fixed on this kind of length. And we can do that by typing worksheets one dot use range dot rows dot count. And what this does I can just uh, basically show it to you. Um, what it does is it counts the number of rows that are being used. So if I just type it in the, me in the message box and run the program, we see that we indeed have 30 rows being used and it counts correctly. So nothing to worry right there. So after we've done that, um, we want to define what cells we want to delete. So we want to delete the special cells that have the cell type blanks. So whenever, so whenever um, a cell is blank and no at, no value at all is in it, we want to delete it. And the deleting part is written like entire row dot delete. So, this string that we've written, where we, that we've just written, is basically um, stating that if we just uh, start from the beginning, we state that A3 is indeed a special cell type blank, so it is a blank cell, and therefore we want to delete, delete, delete the row. Sorry. Obviously, now A3 is not blank, and this creates an error because this statement is written as if it were true. And therefore we have the on error resume next part. So it sees A3 is not empty at all and therefore we create an error and we have that error in um, calling basically for the next part, so A4. So let's run the program real quick and see if everything is working. There we have it. And as you can see everything worked perfectly. So I hope it helped. If it did, consider liking or subscribing and in any in any case uh, have a good day bye bye